Hey, hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. And this is where all the magic happens, a la Mala style. Hola foodies, this is your girl Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours, a la Mala style, of course. And today, voila, we're getting ready to make an amazing meal. And it's a total one, count it, one pan meal. Super easy and a lot of fun. And of course, doesn't take a lot of time at all. Even the laziest of home chefs can do this. Pretty simple, pretty easy. So let's go over some stuff that we have here because in this pan is going to be roasting one whole chicken along with some veggies together. And of course, you know me, I've got to have a marinade because we've got to put some flavor on that bird. So I'm getting ready here to make a lovely marinade as well. So what do we have over here? This pick this particular bird, it's a whole chicken. It weighs exactly 5.37 ounces. So we'll call it, let's say a little shade over five pounds. Over here, I've got some veggies. I've got three pounds of baby potatoes, one pound of baby carrots, and I've got two medium-sized onions in which I basically quartered. Over here, this little contraption thing is the inside of my bunt pan. Now, I'll show you what we do with this later. Hmm, big secret, big secret indeed. Now, over here, we're getting ready to do a marinade. And of course, in the marinade, what am I gonna have? I'm going to be using a tablespoon measurement for one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of, of course, pink sea salt, one tablespoon of some smoked paprika. We're also going to be using a teaspoon measurement of garlic powder, basil, parsley, oregano, and of course, gotta have some white pepper. So a teaspoon also of that. So let's get ready and get started. I forgot to mention, part of this marinade, we're gonna be using one stick of unsalted butter. Now this, we're going to melt up, which is going to be equivalent to around about a half a cup, or rather, I should say, um, four ounces of unsalted butter. When we melt this baby up, we're going to come back and we're going to add all of these spices to it. Alrighty, so our butter is now nicely melted up. And as you can see, pretty much half a cup, which is uh, four ounces. So now let's start putting this together. I'm gonna start with our teaspoon measurement of, of course, our white pepper powder. There we go. Yep, one teaspoon measurement. And here we go, right in. And if you know me, you know what I like to do with my dried herbs. So we've got one teaspoon of oregano. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna warm it up into our hands, just like this. And pour it right in, perfect. Now we're going to do a teaspoon of parsley. There we go. We're going to do the same thing. Warm it up in our hands, give it a nice little squeeze, a little zhuzh. Powderize that, that goes in. Next, we're going to do a teaspoon of dried basil. So, add that in, let's get these out of the way. There we go, give this a little zhuzh as well. Nice little squeeze, we've got that in, perfect. Now we're going to do a teaspoon of garlic powder. And in goes the garlic powder, perfect. Now we're going to move on to our tablespoon measurements. So what do we need here? Tablespoon of onion powder. So in goes our onion powder, perfect. Now we need our salt. 
now we're using pink Himalayan salt. There we go. And lastly, our paprika, which is our smoked paprika. There we go. And we're using a full tablespoon of smoked paprika. Now we need to get these all nicely mixed up in here just like this and it smells divine let me tell you amazing really 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 amazing now what i'm going to get ready to do is we're going to pour some of this about half of it or so over our bird get it nice and stabilized rubbed and massaged up really well on our bird and then i'm going to tie it up with some butcher string yep we're gonna have a nice little caged bird. And then we're gonna add the rest of our veggies to the pan and pour the rest of the marinade over that. So let's get this show on the road. Okay, and now it's time to give our bird here a nice little massage with our gorgeous marinade that we just made up. So let's get this bird nice and happy, nicely painted. So we're gonna start with a little at a time. Yep, and of course our marinade is nice and warm, so be careful. You wanna give it a nice rub, just like so. Make sure you get a nice, beautiful marinade. Look at the color on this bird. Beautiful, our chicken is looking gorgeous. How beautiful. You want to get all up close and personal here. Yep. Get a little bit more of that marinade up on the wings. Of course, I'm tempted to say get on, get up on the arms <laughs> like it's a person. Thankfully, it's not. It's a chicken. It's a whole chicken. So we're going to give this a nice little massage. There we go. Get some up underneath these wings right here right here make sure it's always important you have to season and season well so that is really really important we're going to try to get some of this marinade a little bit tucked up under the skin here so this just simply adds flavor baby flavor so just create a nice little pocket and give that skin a nice little rub in there. Yep, there you go. We're creating flavors and layers and layers of it. And that's what we want because we want this meat to be fully absorbed with goodness in it. Look at how beautiful this is looking. Yep, now we're going to flip this over. And we're going to do the back portion of this. There we go. Yep, looking gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Alrighty, so our bird is now nicely marinated and here comes the fun part. Or not so fun. Well, let's see. In this particular roasting pan, what I've done, because I hate, I'm not a fan of big major cleanups, so I've lined the pan with some heavy duty foil. And on the bottom portion, as you can see, is another piece of foil. That would be this. It is a piece of nonstick foil. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to slide this on the inside of the cavity of the chicken. So, here goes. Yep. Getting a little sticky there. I'm going to put this to stand up just like so. And here comes fun. There we go. Our chicken is going to be just like that. Standing up. And now we're going to get ready to add the veggies to this pan. So here we go with our veggies. We're going to get our potatoes in, just like that. Plus in the onions. We've got some carrots as well. 
and we're gonna get them all nice and evenly distributed on the bottom of this pan. So basically, as the chicken roasts, we are going to use pretty much all those beautiful juices from the chicken to cook our veggies in. Talk about flavor. Oop, man of a board. There we go. Get them all nicely nestled in there. How nice and beautiful. And of course, we've um, tied up our chicken. I've already wrapped up the legs, tied up the wings over here to just get everything nicely coated and so that it won't fall apart. So we did the best we could. And now that leftover marinade, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to just sprinkle this around on top of our veggies and give them a nice little coating as well. So here goes. And you don't have to be fancy with this because again, it's all gonna be cooking in these beautiful pan juices here with our roasted chicken because you want to have those flavors carry through. So this is going to be amazing. And this way, whilst this chicken cooks, we do not have to flip it. But what I will do is I will rotate it in the oven. Now I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So since this chicken is about a shade over five pounds, 5.37, I believe I mentioned, we're going to average around about 15 minutes or so cooking time per pound. So that would probably be around about an hour, 15 minutes or so. So after about 45 minutes or so, I'm gonna check and just rotate the pan. Now any extra marinades here that I've got, I'm going to go back and of course, Put all of that beautiful excess on our chicken because we're not going to waste any of this. We want to make sure every portion here is covered with this gorgeous marinade here. And she is looking beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So you want that to cook nicely just like that. And how gorgeous does that look? Now we're ready for the oven. So our beautiful chicken is in the oven and it's going to go bye-bye. There we go, take a nice last look. Boop, boop. And I've got my oven here set, obviously, as you can see, for 350 degrees. And I'm just about to set my timer at one hour, 15 minutes. There we go. And I'll see you back in a little bit. Sneak peek at the little birdie. We're doing beautiful things here in this oven. Now let's just give this nice little rotate here. Yep, that in just like that. And we will come back and give it a little check. And so our darling chicken, our roasted chicken is hot out the oven and look how beautiful we look. Gorgeous, simply gorgeous. We're going to let our baby here rest for a little while until we're able to plate up and carve up. Mm -mm -mm. And our gorgeous roasted chicken is all nicely plated up and done. We have our chicken, obviously, to star of the show, plated up with our roasted veggies, which are those beautiful potatoes that roasted up in those pan juices, along with the carrots and caramelized onions. We garnished with a bit of lemon and some fresh dill. How beautiful do they look, huh? Gorgeous. And there we go. Happy eating, y'all. Roasted chicken. 
with vegetables, a total one pot, one pan, quick meal, a la mala style. Once again, my foodies, thank you so much for watching. This is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours where everything happens a la Mala style.